Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to my newest Let's Play. Welcome back to my newest Let's Play. Welcome to my newest Let's Play, Transaruby. It's a cute little Metroidvania by Fly High Works. Uh, Skip. Uh, well, it's the creator was Skip Moore, the developer was Esquadra, and Fly High Works is the uh, publisher. Anyway, let's just get into it. It's a cute little. It's a little Metroidvania. I got it on Steam. It's not that expensive. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it's nice. It actually has a manual, and you get an achievement for reading it. We're not going to do that, though, because I've already done that, and I'm just going to show you the game. So, let's get into it. Uh, we'll, we'll, I mean, you know what? Why? Yeah, I, ha I had an accidental, uh, attempt to, uh... At a recording failure. So we're going to try this again. So, play. Now, I've already beaten it once, so we can get the um, alternate ending, I should mention. Oh, boy. <laughs> that on her wall, by the way, is art for the game. Oh, gosh, I'm so cute. You can jump. And we get a scanner. Good morning, Sarubi. Your scan results are all clear. Of course they are. All I've been doing is laze around. There's no reason for me to break. Good, you're self-aware. Excellent mental condition, too. <clears throat> so, yeah. That's, uh, that's art. Yeah, made uniform. Made for cyborgs. Bought through online shopping. That is the key to the alternate ending. It isn't there when you play through the game the first time. Surubi, have you taken a look at the plant sample the UC sent the other day? The one they found seven years ago where there was a dimension fall? Hmm, where did I put it? Why don't you have a look behind that wooden box? That plant grows by absorbing all kinds of energy around it. If you don't keep it carefully, it might suck our ship's energy sources dry. Ooh! And, Surubi, you should clean your room more often. Ooh! Uh, I'll hire a maid at some point. She does say that in the original. We can talk to NACOM here. Have you read the manual? What manual? You need solid basics, you know. Why not check out the tips menu when you've got time? The manual can be read through the options menu. The tips section has bits of information you may find helpful for your adventures. Options menu? You can access that by pressing uh, the basically start on your console. And pressing Y will help you access your map and your items. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? Uh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And we can check out different things on this map. We have our items. Uh, our sword. Plant sample. Handle with care. Do not take out of capsule. Uh-oh. What was that? Um... Well, it may be the Borg. No. A dimension fall? It's a big one! Looks like we're the closest to it. If we're lucky, we might find a DNA quartz. Sarubi, are you ready? Of course I am. I love the pixel art style. I like everything about this game, really. Trun Zerubi. This is so great. The credits here. Mission Control, this is Sarubi. I've arrived on the surface. Sarubi, this is Nekom. I have your coordinates. Is everything alright? My thruster broke on impact. My crystal rod is shattered. Also, every cartridge I had melted upon entering the atmosphere. Oh, and also I've lost all map data. What? To put it simply, I've lost approximately 70% of my functions! Alright, give me a moment. Bag of spilling trope. I've just sent out automated, automated mobile containers to you. They will gather materials locally and create basic equipment for you. So you'll have to go retrieve the containers. Try to explore the place while you do. Okay. Yep, Dimension Realm. 
surface. So we can jump and swing our sword. You need to collect these Tran chips. They will open the way to new areas. And sometimes they can be real bastards about where they hide them. Yeah, you can do... Well, they'll tell you more about this later, but... Can't, can't do anything there, because we can't break those blocks. I'm going to... See, we have an element gun. Oh, we can't use it yet. What are those floating black things? That's a dark materian. It must have appeared after the dimension fall. It's not that strong. I'm sure you can defeat it easily. If you say so. We can. You have to get these green things. And you'll see why. Those dark materians in the ground look hard to reach. You'll be fine. Your sword has a wide attack range. You should be able to hit them just by swinging your sword nearby. You won't need to jump in the hole. Okay. Yeah, there's a tutorial. Which is kind of neat. Come on. Slime ball. Yeah, some of this stuff you can do already without having to. And if you kill these guys, you could use a downward stab on enemies at the bottom of cliffs. Downward stab? Just concentrate on moving downwards while you jump. Whenever you jump from a high place, I suggest you do a downward stab just in case. Yeah, powerful enough to defeat any dark materian in one blow unless it's a boss. You will, however, still want to use these things for... Ow. Oop, that could have been a problem. To fight bosses. That is a save point. You just press up and save. Hey, a Tori Gate. This is a very Japanese game. Ow. Well, that was stupid. Save early, save often, that's my motto. Yeah, as you... The more com guys you combo, the more... Um... Of that element gun ammo you get. Oh, yeah! At some point, we will actually be told how to use that thing. Hmm, can't get through that shutter thing. see if it works. Nope. They have to tell us about the element gun before we can use it. So, just keep going this way then. This is a Metroidvania, so there will be backtracking. Oh boy, will there be backtracking. Can't go that way, so we come up this way. And we have those things. Can't go that way yet. Can't get up there. Good. And we get... Oh, we didn't get the element gun yet. I forgot. Yep. You found a container! You've got an element gun! It uses EP, that's the green stuff, for bullets called element shots. Can activate switches and freeze dark materials. Yep. Good. I know that. It's my default equipment, remember? Uh, anyway, you need EP to shoot. You can get EP by defeating enemies. Always be mindful of your EP so you don't run out when you really need it. Yep. So, obviously. Come over here. And what do you know? We're back here. So, we're going to... Now, there's something they'll tell us about here. Okay. I may have noticed, frozen enemies sometimes drop a pink crystal when you defeat them. Those are LP. LP? Using LP will recover one life point. You should freeze your enemies as you go till you get the hang of things to be safe. Alright, I'll practice on the next enemy I find. Thing is, frozen enemies, there we go, do not drop EP. So, you're going to want to... Right. There we go. 
you're going to want to keep that in mind and manage your use. Also, if we check our map, we can see and press A, it'll show us the terrain. Checking our map shows us where train chips are. Like I said, you do really want those. So, just move along. We're going to go back down here. Yeah, there's a reason they tell you you should do a... A downward stab. And, well, we'll check this out. Is, is this a door? It's sealed. Some kind of power is working on it. We don't get the power to open that for a very long time. Well, very long. This isn't a very long game. Uh, I beat it in eight hours, and that was with getting lost, because it was mostly blind. As near as I can tell, this is the first true let's English language Let's Play for this game. I may be wrong, but there's walkthroughs with no commentary, and there may be Let's Plays in other... Okay, I can't get up there. Yet. There may be other, um... Let's Plays in other languages, but... As near as I can tell... Surubi, do you see that black diamond to your right? That's a very dangerous ski slope. Be careful. Ah, no. The one with the number on it? Yes, that's the one. That's a countdown switch. You can activate it by shooting at it. I see. I guess I'll shoot all the black objects that look suspicious. Um! Uh, yeah. So if we come down here, there's all sorts of things. Yeah. And we can shoot. Shoot that black object, too. Yes, you should. Yeah, the, um... These platforms, if you shoot them, they move. And, of course, we have the springs that let you... Now, remember, Sarubi is one block high. Okay, first we're going to come this way. We're stuck. I'll give you a hint. You can shoot your gun upwards. Uh, I knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Which, believe it or not, they, especially with games of this, of the era that this sort of... I got a signal for a train chip on my radar, but I don't see it. The radar covers a pretty large area. Maybe the chip's in a place where you can't reach. Like, beyond the ceiling? Yeah, you can look up and down. And that can actually be very useful. Also, you will die in water after a short period of time. So keep that also in mind. What's the black thing on the ground? Okay, Saruby, I'll give you a hint. I don't need one. Hold down and press B. I said I don't need one! I love that. I, You know me, I love fourth wall breaks. Okay, nothing we can do there right now. Some Dark Materians might shoot at you. But don't worry, you can slice their bullets with your sword. <gasps> Some bullets can't be cut, though. <gasps> if the enemy's attacks are too rapid, you can slice their bullets as you get close. <gasps> yeah, okay. I like to just... Dodge. We get an element cartridge. Yay. More capacity for the element gun. 
All right. If you spend too long in water and you will get a gauge, you disintegrate. We are told later that that is because Five. There are bacteria in the water that can dissolve cyborgs. This is another one of those things that seems to use cyborg to mean basically like self aware robot. Okay, we've got 50 tran chips, so we can go. Let's see. Okay, I can't go any farther that way yet. Alright, so. Let's uh, check our map. Okay, down should get us to the tranship gate, which is where we need to go. And here we are. What am I at? 15 minutes, roughly. The map has been updated. Now we see there's a bunch more tranships to get and a whole new area. It's a whole new world. Um, we're not going to open that gate just yet. Oh, yes we are. Because we can't go further. So we get our first type of switch puzzle. You get this ball. You will drop it if you use your weapon. And if it stays on the ground too long without you picking it up, it dissolves and goes back to where it started. Yeah, we're going to get our first boss. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here and get a life cartridge, a.k.a. a heart container. Crap! I wanted to save before this. Oh, well. Necom, what can you tell me about this? Give me a moment. Military server, Kalasma. Looks like a server used to manage information around this area. It's been damaged by dark materians. Only its defense mechanisms seem to be functioning properly. That means it's all right to destroy it. Remember, sword attacks work on larger dark materians, but element shots won't affect them. Hmm, a downward stab on its weak point should work nice nicely. Downward stab on its weak point. I'll give that a try. So yeah, military surfer, Kalasma. And it's got a nice... Okay, so we've got these, um... Ow, fuck. Ouch. Yep, yep. So keep that here. Damn it. Ow. That is its weak point. You want to get... You want to use the... Oh, shoot! Well, that was stupid. Okay, I didn't realize I was getting hit. But, yeah, it doesn't matter if you... This game basically... If you die for... Ha yeah, if you die without saving... Everything still gets kept. Saving is mostly, and we can also skip this. Let's try and do this better and not suck. So yeah, like I said, you can get close and stay out of, honestly, the best way to deal with its um, bullets is just stay away from it. And then you want to be careful and avoid the um, attacks. Oh, man. Well, I'm just gonna stay right up here. That's, that's one of the things you should do. And then you get, get a life. Yeah, stay away from it when it does that, because it will hurt you. Ow, fuck. Yep, stay away. Good. Now it's gonna do the, um, these aren't that hard to, um, that is what you should be doing, by the way. There we go. Downward stab, right there. Okay, and then it just, it will do that again, and get all the way over here. Also, you can get life points back from those dudes. Just watch the watch them coming down. This is the first boss, so obviously it's not going to be that difficult. Hit the you hit the weak point and just get the hell away from it. Ow. 
And it's dead. Yeah, obviously, I, I just, my first death was just stupidity. Sorry about that. Where am I? Did you save me? I guess I did. I am Yamato, a scientist researching this realm. Or so I'd like you to think. You'd like me to think? That's so suspicious. Oh, I'm Sarubi, by the way. Sarubi. Thank you, Sarubi. I think I'll go now. Hey! Yamato isn't her name. It's the name of her frame. Also, her ID isn't on the UC database. Well, she doesn't seem hostile, so I guess it's okay. Mmm... Mm-hmm. Don't expect underground woods. Don't expect the plot to be too in-depth. This is a cute little... Okay, we can't get up there. Just thought I'd check. We can get down there and... Fuck you, dude. Will, eventually, but... Right now, I'm just going this way for now. Because there's plot. Netcom, look at this! Yep, it's an SS level DNA quartz. Unfortunately, with your current equipment, you won't be able to carry it back. But we can do this! A slide puzzle! Yay! It's not really that bad, I guess. Okay, I can slip that up. Can I do this this way, and then that, that way, and then that? That way, good. We bring this down. Bring that over. And up. And up. Yeah, I've had much worse slide puzzles. And if you get stuck, press, you know, B, and it'll reset. This looks like a DNA record? Seems so. You'd know more about that than me. Really? Hold on a sec! Why do you have dog ears on your helmet? The DNA quartz is mine! I got dibs before you! This big thing in the back? Yes, what else could I be talking about? Go ahead, take it. Huh? Are you sure? Yeah, I can't bring it back with my current equipment anyway. R really? Gee, uh, thanks! I'm Douglas. Who may you be? Sarubi. All right, Sirby, I'll remember that. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a recurring character. That man, uh, Douglas, was it? According to the UC database, he's a treasure hunter. A legitimate one at that. Both his parents work for UC, too. I didn't know treasure hunters need their personal information in the database. He does lose some privacy, but in exchange, it gives him credit. Okay, then. So, yeah. Ah, we couldn't have gone that way anyway, because we had to come pick up this... Yeah, as you can see, and you drop it if you get hit, too. So we couldn't have gone much farther anyway. Eh. Alright. So we'll keep going. Uh, now we can get up here. There's all sorts of places we can go to get stuff. But we can't go... Oh, wait, we can. Just wait for this dude. Can't go down yet. But this opens the way up, so we can get back up through here. This is a Dramos statue. Um, the black guys are called Dramos, but the Dark Materians that fly and shoot. Okay, and you can see we are back up here. I think we've been here before. Yep, we've been here before. We just didn't come down this way. So we could have found that Dramos statue before, but we didn't. Oops. So, we're gonna go down, and go this way. Oh, there we go. 
you will learn that these guys make excellent platforms. There's a dent in the shape of a diamond. Looks like something will fit in there. Yes! And we save. And you can jump off that guy and get the Ruin Key. A strange man. Gee, I wonder where it goes. But we're not going to go that way just yet. I want to look around here instead. Okay, the Ruin Key will actually take us th oh, that way somewhat. There we go. As you can see, those things, yeah, can't do much of anything. Those platforms fall when you step on them. I should be trying to get life back. These guys, they're called Geospheres. There will be collectibles that tell you the names of the various Dark Materians. And that's one of the things we're going to definitely go to try and get 100% on. Those Geospheres I, are ones I really prefer to try and get health off of. Because they're a pain in the ass if you don't freeze them. Yep, see that? If you see that, you see that, um... Word. <clears throat> that gauge, it means that you're running... Um, does anyone else think this looks worryingly familiar? Yeah, so the gauge basically tells you how much time you've got left before you dissolve in the water. So you can do some stuff. And we get a crystal rod! Increases sword range, breaks certain blocks. This is a crystal rod! Your sword will get stronger with this. You can probably just try to draw a rock around the size of a wooden box now. Ooh! Yeah, now we can destroy these blocks. So, in true Metroidvania style, we can't go left, really, because we'll just die. Luckily, as soon as you, you know, jump out of the water, it resets your gauge, so... Don't worry too much about that. That should... Well, wait better. There we go. One of the things in this game that you really, really are going to need to pay attention to are... Oh, that was close. Breaks in the walls. Where they hide secret passages. Anytime you are trying to find something and can't, it is because you have missed a secret passage. And believe me, you're going to need to find those secret passages. Okay, let's see. This is going to be a little weird. Okay. Okay, then. There we go. Jump out. Wait for the thing to come back. You're really not supposed to come here until later, but Dark Quartz, Dark Materian DNA, yes, okay. So we're going to keep following this, yeah. See this shutter? That's something we'll open later, Metroidvania. It's a very well designed Metroidvania. You it's very hard to get stuck. I don't think you can get stuck. You can get lost. And boy howdy didn't I. But it's hard to get stuck. So. Alright. Let's 
So we went through all of that. That was pretty nice. And we're at 30 minutes. And hey, we've just found ourselves a save point. So I'm going to call it here. So thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Transaruby. And I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye.